you're the obligatory next man in, how does how do you readjust your role on the fly like that, like you had to do? I mean, honestly, you know, the coaches stress to us every day. I mean, Coach Light, Coach Van Gogh stress to us all the time. You got to prepare like a starter. You know, you never know. You're one play away from getting in. And, you know, you always want to be prepared for your opportunity. And, you know, I'm just grateful to have this opportunity, and I'm ready to go out there and dominate. How did you deal with the frustration? I mean, after last year, you had a pretty good year last year. And then all of a sudden, you know, you kind of didn't have the same kind of playing time that you did last year. How did you deal with that? And how did you stay focused and positive? Well, you know, you just got to, I just got to do what I had to do for the team, you know, what the team needed me to do. And, you know, this year is everyone what the team needed me to do last year. You know, I just wanted to get out there and just contribute and to help this team whichever way I could, you know, whether it be on special teams or on defense. How much does that help that you're, you were actively involved on all those run teams, the special teams, when you're not getting consistent playing time in the corner? Well, it helps a lot, you know. It helps to build that confidence, you know. It just helps to keep you, you know, just sharp, you know, just keep you ready for the game, you know, bullets flying. Getting that starting nod against Stanford and playing well, how did that help your confidence? I mean, you, when you're not playing all year, you, even if you're a confident guy, you got to take a little bit of a hit when you, when you don't right. get in there as much as you did the previous November. Right, well, I mean, you know, just going in there, you know, I, you know, my coaches and my teammates just all week have been telling me, you know, just play with confidence. Like, like you're not the same player you were last year. Like, you can compete with anybody in the country. And, you know, it just came from me believing in it and just going out there and just really just playing the game that I know how to play. I think it was, for, it was either the first or second series where you kind of broke up that pass on the sideline. Is that, do you need a moment like that when you haven't been playing a lot to make a big uh, on the stage in that situation? It definitely felt good. You know, it definitely feels good, but you just got to refocus and do it again. That's what Coach Light always said. Whenever you have a good play, do it again, do it again. When you start feeling okay after the, the end game concussion there? Uh, you know, it wasn't too bad. You know, I just took some rest and time off, really, and just trying to take the time to focus on my school and not get too far behind in that just because the timing with finals being up there. Right. How important has it been for you guys to, you know, get these extra prep weeks for Ohio State? Oh, it's been great. I mean, you know, the guys are really just getting out there and competing with each other. We've done a great job of really, you know, being professional about it. Like, you know, we know we don't have a lot of time out on the field, but the time that we do have, you know, it's high competition, it's high speed, and, you know, we're all out there just focusing and trying to get better. I've asked the other guys, but, you know, comparing Team 127 to maybe ones you've been on in the past, how much more special is this year been? I mean, this team is such a special team, you know, the bond that, the, that we have with each other and just the trust that we have with one another. You know, it's amazing. I mean, I've never been on a team like this before. And, you know, it's going to be hard to top it, but hopefully, you know, just go out with the win and send Team 127 out with good memories.